On today's XC250 upgrade video, we're going to be mounting a Rotopax fuel can on the inside of our pannier rack. The kit that we're going to be using has a mounting bracket and the actual locking mount. The tumbler is removable and comes with two spare keys, and the kit comes with some very basic instructions. The Rotopax mount actually bolts onto the bracket using two threaded bolts on the bottom there that are only accessible um, on the underside of that bracket. So essentially if you screw those two bolts in, what you get is a mount that's incredibly secure onto whatever you're mounting that onto. And here we have it on the Happy Trails top rack that we're going to be installing later on the bike. So the way that Rotopax mounts work is there is a free spinning handle and there is another handle that's actually connected to a threaded bolt. That threaded bolt spins into the base and your free spinning mount is actually what locks your Rotopax onto the mount using two detents. So I didn't quite understand this at first, but when you twist the free spinning one onto those detents, your top handle is what you actually twist on to increase the tension on the mount. And all you have to do is get the two handles lined up and you can drop your tumbler in. And of course this is the same for non-locking Rotom Pax mounts, but this one just happens to have the tumbler. So what you'll have to do is determine how the Rotopax is actually going to fit onto the mount and what mounting locations you're going to use on the inner rack. I did this by installing the Rotopax onto the locking mount and just kind of seeing where the holes would line up. Unfortunately with the SU side racks there isn't a spot where the Rotopax mount will actually match up perfectly where you can use all four mounting holes. Of course you can drill your rack but unfortunately I didn't want to do that so I found the two spots that would work and I've just been using those ever since. For the XT250 what you'll need to do is have the Rotopax handles spun off in order for the gas can to actually be able to fit in there and be able to take it out and put it back in. So here I am spinning the Rotopax handle back on. It is kind of tedious but this is just kind of how it works in terms of the clearance with the swing arm and the Rotopax fuel can. And at this point you should have an extra one gallon of fuel storage on your bike that's secured, it's lockable, and it's somewhat easy to remove off of the bike in case you need it. You one of the great things about having your Rotopack set up this way is you can actually fill it up while it's still locked onto the bike. However, once again, you will have to remove both the threaded handle and the free spinning handle to access that Rotopack's mount. Because of the way that the Rotopax is mounted onto the SU rack, it's actually incredibly secure because with your pannier on the rack, there's no way to access any of the bolts or nuts on the Rotopax mount. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe and make sure you visit PineADV.com. Thank you.